three, two. I think it's Ray. I think Ray's here. <gasps> Thank you. Ray's here. Anyways, hi guys. This is Stark Sid. Welcome back to Mass Effect. I forgot what happened last time, even though I played this like a few days ago. But G put it there. <laughs> I don't know, guys, should I have it there or not? Leave a comment and say fuck you. We should say. We're playing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, anyway, three, two, one, take two. Hey, everybody, Stark Sid here. Welcome back to Mass Effect. Do you remember what happened last time, even though this is like, I played this two days ago? We went to Eden Prime, and then they told us that um, we're still looking for the beacon. There's Geth everywhere, and Nihilus, who was supposed to help us help a Spectre, has been killed by another Spectre. Let's go back. Anyway, let's go back. Yeah. <laughs> Excitement. I almost clicked exit. I'm like, that is the opposite of what Exit I want. Game. All right, good, good episode. I know. Um, take two. So, I'm gonna upgrade the squad. What is, why is it like that? Look at him, he has a single one. Cluck, cluck, cluckety cluck. What she means, kids, is fuck, 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 fuckety fuck. Fuck, fuckety fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah. Okay. So I forgot what I was talking about beforehand, but the lag is good. The lag has stopped. My face is now up in the right hand, up in the upper right hand corner. I'm thinking about um, getting away with murder for some reason. Not the song. Because we watched it. Not the song, but the show. Gigi is... Gigi. Ray. Actual Pennymon. And Red is over there doing her business. What kind of business? You'll never know! None of your business. None of your business. The graphics look better... Um, in two. Cause there are like some things that kind of bug me. I see uh, gifts of like glitches and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like they had Miranda like doing the worm. Like, laying on the bed with you. Oh yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah. Oh god. Um, there's some glitches from the third game. No, it's the second game. Where Garrus is saying what Tally should be saying. What? So it's Tally's feminine voice coming out of Garrus's mouth. And him posing like her occasionally. Oh. Like he's mocking her. But oh my god. But she's there not saying it. Oh. <laughs> I'm just so kind of looking around. There. I'm looking around to see if there's anything. There is only something that I can do. Come here. It's Nihilus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, th I think they knew each other. Your friends seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates.
We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead, just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Yep. I wake up. At this point? Guys, sends message. My window hasn't always been that big, right? So is there a hole in my house? I hear her. You survived too, yes. No, it's because in the game, someone survived an attack because they were taking a nap behind a bunch of boxes. I'm like, I feel that would be us. Because <laughs> we would be napping. And then the world ends and we'd be like, fuck. You're not the only one. Red is talking about going to um, Hot Springs. Yes. No, it's fine. It's fine. Um, going to traditional bathhouse, bathhouses and um, Hot Springs, and that would be so nice. Mm -hmm. When I go on a trip there, that's one of the things on my list that I really, really want to do because it's an experience. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything okay. like it before. It it was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And it was making this noise, this this sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I I've never seen anything Put like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... It was making this noise, this... This sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Hi, kid. Hi, kid. I gotta get away from here. Not yet. I don't want to fight. We need to get this. That does not look like Yeah. Oh, 
open Josh Is that the one he already yeah. I'm still learning guys, I'm still learning.
medical care or whatever works. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down.
go up to the beacon, which is that thing. Yeah. And you don't go up to it until you get everything. So there's something to your right. All the way over there? Yeah. There should be a there. Hey, what? Yellow. Yeah. 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 Hey, it happens. Oh, God. Oh, nope, nope, okay. no, you're all right. Okay. <laughs> My tummy's making the rumblies. <laughs> My tummy's making the rumblies. <laughs> yep, oh, and it, there it goes. It's rumbling. I can open a crate. That's it. I walked by a crate and was like, open crate. What? It meant the one over there. Oh, okay. I'm like... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Frogger. Frogger time. Let's look at this. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Can't do this. No. I need to do this. I hope it should be an easy one. It's a wall safe. So to your right, I'm like my right to here. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm just looking, checking over. That's what it's I knew he was insane in the membrane. I am insane, but. I thought I saw something up there. Anything else? The wall. Alright, now I'm just checking if there's anything else. Tiger hidden dragon. Bit right from my Alright, is that all the things? Because I didn't find anything else. Anything up there? No. Okay. No. Well, you can, but there's nothing up there to get. Yeah. Alright, let's start some story. Story time! Yeah! Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Rumbling. It's not me. <clears throat> we identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Keep it in his head, trying to keep there or something, knocks it off the wall. 
This human must be eliminated. How? If she were to do the, what was it, the jiggle, or the jumping test, or the jiggle test? Uh, I don't do either of the tests, so... <laughs> Because if she Is did those, over test? no. Because if she like you jump just to see if it it's secure, mm -hmm. they're secure. She would she would she would fail that test. She's Doctor, Doctor Chakwas, I think she's waking up. Chakwas, being indicated, being indicated, being indicated. What you had us worried there, <laughs> Shepard. How are you feeling? Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. It is your fault. You can just ignore him. Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. Again, ignoring him will make sure you don't have to deal with his romantic advances. What's the damage, to? Doctor? I don't support it. Physically, but... you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Hmm. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Oh boy. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. Fuck. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Gath, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. They look so sad. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. <sighs> what are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? 
We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology, blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Soon. Did I lose any gold chest? Did I just get like warning? Really? Yeah. Let me check. There we are. It has been raining like crazy. I know it's about. It's about the air quality. Looking at your stuff, I'm looking at your stuff. Can I play with this? I wanna play with this? Aww. You can go, wait, go back. That's where we are. Oh, this way? Mm-hmm. You need to replant your command gel. Yeah. Cool. saying the aliens are like no good and Caden is very aggressively wanting to be romantically involved with you mm. so like every conversation you had he's just like yes it's like hover hand status yeah Ugh. yeah so but I don't think I like I prefer that over race. So I'm like, legitimately, everyone on my ship knows that I'm begging Garrus. And Kate is just like, you want to go on a date, Commander? And I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah, maybe my, my space bird boyfriend can come with. Like, he's just like, and, the, and in the third game, he's like, I wanted to take you to this fancy restaurant so that I could tell you my real feelings. My real feelings, Caden, is that I hate you. <laughs> and I should have left you at the end of the first game. <laughs> hey, look, an elevator. I'm taking the stairs. The elevator didn't go up. It's like damage. Oh. It just goes down? It doesn't go to the upper floor. Okay. It goes down to the And the basement. Yeah. Am I supposed to go up here? I'm just wandering. Just wandering around. Um, you can talk to that 
can do a codex point, you can do experience. No. Or interact, whatever. He's not Presley again. Um, or you can talk to Doc, the Joker at the front. Mm. You can't use the Galaxy map yet. Aw, oh, that'd be awesome. The Galaxy map lets you choose which planets you want to go to. And there are some planets you just want to talk to. Oh. But it's all mostly like side missions, so if you just want to get to the plot. Ah. That's what I'm most likely doing. But Good timing, right. Commander. I was just about to bring us into the <laughs> Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Like a UFO, the usual. Da -da -da -da. No. sizes and everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. <laughs> Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Size of the boat, it's the motion of the ocean. <laughs> this is an outrage! The council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of a council ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate. They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. I don't like Otherwise, it. the Council might Maybe. use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. He blames you for everything. You and the others happened. can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate Citadel. politicians. And you can meet the Volus and and the ones that talk using that say their tone of voice before they talk. What? We talked about this last night. Did we? Yeah. They say they say they're their like, tone of voice like exasperated guys. Why are you doing it? So this is the human and um, Oh. Aww. I don't know. That's where the holograms are. Oh, work. okay. Right. So, you can go over to computers and, like, hack them. Yeah. And then 
and they, you get missions from just like sneaking around and stuff. Oh, let's go. And now you can go to that planet and find another copy. Oh, cool. I'm just doing main story though. Yeah. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. He sound not happy. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I, love that. I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Chastising remark. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, at least it's like they warn. Like if they're gonna yell at you, they warn you ahead yeah, of time. Just, like, sad, sad oh boy! <laughs> so that's how they they communicate using they communicate using body language and uh, pheromones, mm. but not all races can detect that. So they. They realized that they had to figure out a new way to talk to people the way they understood. That explains a lot. It's still adorable. What is this place? You are in the embassy for the, the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. Mm -hmm. I'd like to know more about it's the Volus. Like I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. You're smelling angry. Gigi is smelling angry like a Chihuahua. Tell me about Volus culture. Have you seen the life of yet? We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not <laughs> violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Happy Pee. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. Hmm. The businessman. Cool. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. That's what our government is. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Aww. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari Consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. 
Where can I find the Sasari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good hi, day, hi. human. Whoa. Hello there. Who are you? <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god, Tiger was causing shenanigans over here. What, what do the keepers do? They keep? Yeah, they keep the um, food all the morning. Oh, there we go. <laughs> he looks so confused. Alright, so, let's see, I came from there, right? Yeah, I came from here. Which way do I go? Well, you can't go right. So go oh, okay. <laughs> what? For her birthday. She left me dodging the screen. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm actually gonna stop here. Okay. After experiencing the adorable, I forgot what they're called. Elcor. Yes, what you said. The adorable Elcor. Anyways guys, we're going to end it here, leave a like down there and subscribe. Oh, roll call. Anyone who's a Lucaria, say fuck you in the, in the comments. Okay, so there's no one in the Aquarius yep, over yeah, here. No Aquarius, no Aquarius. No Aquarius is here. Alright. <laughs> I will see you later, mis amigos. Bye bye. <laughs> Ray is doing peace sign. Or is she? So what now? Yeah.